big job and I'm cleaning this massive floor before I put back a board on there. And some of you will probably just sweep it, vacuum it, and that'll be good, but that's not good enough because I'm going to show you why you need to do what I'm about to tell you to do or show you what to do. Because look at this floor. See? This is after I, I rented a buffer. I swept it and I vacuumed this whole floor. And you see it? Still got that dust from the tapers and like I said, this floor was pretty dirty. Now I'm gonna show you what it can look like after you do what I'm about to show you or tell you. See how it'll be. See that? It's almost original. And this is not uh, plywood. This is some kind of compressed wood or whatever you want to call it. So it's got a lot like a, a waffle face. So all these grooves collect the, the dust. Because you can see how clean it is. And this is how dirty it is. And I've been cleaning this in the morning, you see? What I use, I use a mop. Let me just show you. Here, let's see if you can, I'll put you over here so you can watch me. Just for a little bit. Let's see if, uh, let's see. Let you right here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh. There we go. I'll show you how I do this. Take my mop. Clean water. I wet the floor. The real trick to getting this absolutely clean is get a bucket. With a sponge, this is the best way to get up this dirty water. I've tried mopping, all kinds of mops, whatnot. The only true way to get this floor so clean that you can eat off it is what I'm about to show you. Just like when you grab. Drag, flip, drag. This is the only way to do it. Drag, flip, just like you grab. Drag, flip, drag. Thank you. 
you're not willing to do this, you ain't gonna have a clean floor. You might get away with it. But I tell you what, if you're like me, and you don't want no uh, fails in your work, you go above and beyond what it takes to get the floor clean. So that back of board, once you put your thin set down, and you put your back of board on top of it, and you nail it down, it's gonna be bonded. Cause you could have, I could have, this floor was pretty clean right here, but it wasn't absolutely the cleanest I could get it. I'm trying to get it as clean as like when it was just put down, which is almost impossible. But that's what you want for that back of board and that verse behind the grip. And if you don't do that, you're just asking for a failure. It might stick, and then it might not, but I'm not willing to take that, that chance that, that it might break the bond sometime in the future. I want this floor to, for a lifetime, and whoever comes to tear my floors out, I want them to be cursing, like, who put this down? This is tearing up the floor when I'm, when I'm trying to get this backer board because he might do a remodel, so. You have a great day, an awesome day. And like I said, I gotta get back and clean this whole floor. And oh yes, this upstairs is 2,500 square feet. But down below is a concrete slab. And that's over 4,500 feet that I'm gonna be tiling. And yes, that is filthy too. So when I get down there, I'm gonna show you how to clean a concrete floor before you put any tile on there. And that floor is big. And you think I wanna do this? I was hoping I could just mop it and be done, but no. Just one more step to make sure this floor is absolutely clean. Set one piece of backer board. I have to come upstairs and bring all this stuff. Check out this big old floor. Look at this thing. I clean that much, goes into a bathroom over there. Another bathroom. I gotta clean this whole floor right now. Upstairs, it's got an elevator in here. Can you believe it? In the house. Get the old elevator, I gotta clean in there. And check another thing. Look at all around the room. You see that? There is no base in this room. The tile slips underneath there. Oh yeah, and this whole house. Check this out. I cleaned this already. This is all ready for back aboard. But like I said, the knees debated. I said maybe I don't have to, but you know what? I knew. I've been doing this almost 40. Am I connected? Yes. This is going on for a long time, so I got to get busy so I can get out of here sometime today. Tiling. Oh, I love being a dial man.